Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to the Planet Crafter. We are, well, getting things done, trying to terraform the planet. Just unlocked Heater Tier 2, apparently. Um, let's see. We left off, we had just made the Vegetube Tier 2. Um, Drill Tier 2 is pretty cheap, and it also makes heat, though not very much. And then we've got tier two heater, which is a lot better for the iridium. So we should try to focus on those right now, I think. So let's actually do that. We need aluminum and two iridium. I know we have that much iridium. There, there it is. And some aluminum in here. There you go. I'll probably open up that eventually. I don't know. It's always hard to figure out how to arrange a base. Maybe I'll put it on the end over here. So that'll make a ton of heat. What are we at for heat right now? We're up into the nano Kelvin range. Terraformation Index, 6,000. Next is a Solar Panel Tier 2. And then... Progress Screen, we're almost there. Beacon to help find our way. Oh, a window. We can make windows. Yeah, let's make a couple drill Tier 2s. I just need Titanium. But we'll go find some titanium. And then I should also make a solar panel. Two cobalt, iron, silicon. That's easy. Easy peasy. Also, don't be alarmed if um, you watch this episode and all of a sudden I stop uploading. Uh, you probably have Baldur's Gate 3 to blame. I am alive. Uh, if you want to chat, just come to Discord. I'm really active on the Cridania Discord. Um, but yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is going to take up a lot of my time. So we'll see if I feel like, you know, streaming as well as playing Baldur's Gate 3 or if I just get completely sucked in. I could see both happening. So I guess time will tell. OK, so now I can make a solar panel. Can I build it on top of the rock? I feel like that would be kind of cool. But it doesn't look like it's very happy with me doing that. So, yeah. We'll just build it over by, I don't know, over here. See, and look at that. That's even worse. It says 6.5 kilowatts per second. And then in the in the menu it talks about kilowatts per hour. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh my goodness. I can't. Also, okay, I think we'll make it back. <laughs> yeah, Apophenia. It's uh it's looking to be a pretty great game. I mean, we'll see if it lives up to the hype, but the hype is pretty pretty real at this point. Okay, I didn't even complete what I went out to do, which was make a drill tier two. But I also unlocked that. Screen progress. Um, I need silicon for that. All right, titanium, where are you at? I should explore in this direction more often because we have another oxygen refill right here. Zoop. Okay, titanium. Silicon. I'll get some more water. I can even make the water right here. When I get thirsty. Titanium, titanium, cobalt, iron, and another silicon, and I think I'll be good. Okay. 
make a tier two drill. Papa, Papa drill. You got baby drill. Or maybe this is mama drill. Papa drill comes later. And then I can build another solar panel tier one. Find one more titanium. I can build another tier two drill. Yeah, and those release way more pressure than the other ones. They also use 10 times as much energy. So we'll do another solar panel over here and grab some random resources. Uh, I've got a lot of silicon. I need more titanium. I feel like titanium's been my bane of what I am always trying to build. We'll grab a few more titanium, go get more oxygen, and head back to base and see how things are going. Ooh, we hit the 10k mark. We're almost at 11. 11,000. Yeah, I thought about disassembling the tier ones, but I mean, unless there's some sort of, yeah, tier twos are just so much better. I do need a lot more power though. I might do that eventually, especially once we hit like tier three, the tier ones are basically doing nothing. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, build the progress uh, display. Okay, so there you go. We're on the stage to blue sky. And we're already 6.7% of the way there. Nice. Um, so did I have, yeah, we've got two more iridium. So then another tier two heater is in order. This will be the sauna, the sauna room. You get nice and warm when you're over here. Uh, I also would like some windows. Maybe, maybe just all windows, iron and cobalt though. And then we need more veggie tubes. Okay, uh, let's look at our unlocks real quick. So power-wise, I'm just barely keeping up. I need more solar panels. Okay, oxygen tier three is gonna be great. And food grower comes from oxygen. So let's work on oxygen. Iron, silicon, magnesium, aluminum. What else did I need? Oh, I already forgot. And then a solar panel is cobalt, cobalt, iron, silicon. Okay. I need a few more of those. I don't think I needed titanium. Cobalt, cobalt, iron, silicon. Was it titanium actually? I can't remember. I got distracted. Build a solar panel. Hopefully we have enough stuff. I also need some ice. For the water. I actually made one already. Oh, it was iron and cobalt to make glass. That's the other reason I need it. But what was this? I need a silicon. Okay, didn't I have a bunch of silicon in one of these? Yeah. Bam, 280, there we go. We just unlocked all sorts of stuff. Um, glass ceilings, communication antenna. 
Transmissions screen. Displays transmissions received by the communication antenna. Okay. And then there's a beacon. Okay. Tier two solar panel is just around the corner. But yeah, let's try to build that. That needs an aluminum and we need more silicon. I'm gonna run out of aluminum very soon. flashing light on top of my base. Okay, it's time for the resource rain to begin. Oh, look, iron. Just what I wanted. Oh no, that's titanium. Um, is there iron? That looks like iron. useful because that makes the tier 2 solar panels but we do need silicon right now There's the beacon. That's cool. Mod support. I have no idea, but I would hope so. This this seems like the kind of game that with mods could really, really have some legs. Okay, so tier three is way better. Cobalt, cobalt. It just needs an aluminum and a magnesium added on. So we need to find an aluminum before I could make another one, though. Probably some aluminum, like, up there by Stonehenge or whatever. Um, I don't even remember what I came out here for. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. I think I was... I don't even know anymore. But I should make another Vegetube Tier 2, because I just noticed I can do that. We'll make the Vegetube, and then we will upgrade some solar panels if we can find more aluminum. Yeah, I can really make as many of these as I want. They don't require any of the harder-to-find resources. Um, and I want to say we had, yeah, a couple of the better. In fact, I should replace that one. With the Shang Shanga? Shanga seed? And we've got one more aluminum in there. That's it. I'll eat some food. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. <laughs> uh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, let's go see if there's aluminum way up there. I literally have no idea what's over here. I haven't even gone in this direction. We'll grab a silicon. What did we need? Iron, aluminum, silicon, titanium. And these need iron, aluminum, silicon, magnesium, cobalt, cobalt. Okay, I'll have a fourth cobalt. I can make two of those tier two solars. Oh, there's more ship wreckage over there. Okay, well, I'm definitely gonna need to make like a home away from home over in this deserted desert. Wow, 
There's just resources everywhere. Uh, so I need some iron. 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 All the oxygen I want in there. And then I would like more aluminum. I'm not seeing any. Ooh. Can I deconstruct any of this? No. I do have an oxygen capsule. Good to know. Aha! We have another shipwreck to explore. Probably with the same kinds of things, I'm guessing. Estera seed, iridium, aluminum. Thank you for that. I'll eat the food. Keep my hunger levels at bay. And then it's titanium and iron, magnesium, another ship, another wreck, shipwreck, wreck, wreck of the ship, wreck within the ship. Ooh, another tier two heater, beautiful. Yep, and that fills up the whole inventory, doesn't it? Ah, shoot. Okay. Let's get rid of cobalt. I feel like cobalt is easy to find anywhere. What's up, B. Jonas? I know nothing about Savage Planet. Okay, we're just going to have to come back to that. We'll come back for all that. Okay, let's see if I can at least make it back to this without using the canister. Maybe. Yeah, we got it. Easy peasy. seeds. Goodness. I'm gonna run back home with all this. I did find some more aluminum, which is what we wanted. Terraformation index is at 26,000. Ooh. Now we can equip more equipment if we build the exoskeleton tier 2. You know what? I should put a door on this side. It's kind of silly that I don't have a door. Um, well, that just doesn't make sense. The stairs snap to it, but it's... The fact that the foundations don't have the same size as the living compartments, I do not understand. Like, who made that decision? It's probably some weird thing that caused it, and just no one... Well, I don't know how many people are working on the game, but basically no one could fix it. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to leave it that way. That's too complicated. And it's complicated for some, like, ridiculous reason. All right, we'll put our antenna over there. And then we've got some more rare minerals. Squash seeds, we have a lot of food seeds. Um, 
Do need some water again. And then, yeah, what all have we unlocked? A double bed, just cause it, just cause I can. Food grower is like here in a couple seconds. Exoskeleton tier two, and that's what we want. We need a titanium, always with the titanium. Oh yeah, the antenna gives us messages to the screen, to the transmission screen. So I need a silicon for that. Okay, there's that. I'd like some more titanium. Here we go. Oh, that's iron. That's titanium. And this thing has got more food. Good, good. Although, we can grow our own here in a second, so it's not really all that useful. And no titanium in the box, but we've got some more lying around. There's the food grower. All right, sweet. That should be enough to do a couple things. I also have more fabric now. Did I grab one? I didn't. We'll have to go back to the other shipwreck, but the other fabric will allow me to do the second tier of the little agility boots or whatever they're called. Here's another little screen. I'm just gonna put it on the floor, I guess, whatever. All right, message from Sentinel Corp. Oh, here we go. You have chosen to commute your sentence into an extradition. In order to be released of all the charges, you must fully terraform this planet. Sensors will periodically scan your progress and will send you the required blueprints. Do not try to contact Sentinel Corp in any case. You will be considered missing and the charges will not be dropped. You cannot claim property or value over anything on the planet. You only are allowed to use the resources found on the planet. You are not allowed to leave this planet. Well, that's that's a story for you. Easy explanation of why we're stuck here and why we're not trying to leave. And what was I gonna build? Who knows? I need more drills. I forget, are these? No, these only require more titanium. Okay. So we should deconstruct these guys. And then, let's see, eat a space food. Two cobalt, we'll build another solar panel tier two. I guess I'll just replace this one. Uh-oh, low power. see if we can find some more titanium so you're basically a space Aussie uh yeah yeah trying to make the habitat livable minus all of the creatures trying to kill me I feel like that's the big difference here that looks like titanium Silicon. Yep. Take another one of those. It's more titanium. Mm, 
Okay. Iron. Silicon. There's some silicon. There's one. I think that shape is silicon. Yeah. And what did this have? Yeah. Take a little bit more of it. 37,000. We're getting to the 175,000. The sky is maybe looking more blue. I can't tell. I don't know if it's... It looks like it's changing. I don't think the sky had any color before. Or it was just the red. I think we are improving. Ah, I need some ice. Oh, I need to make a food grower. That's what we need. And then go back to the wreck. Um, I did grab more iridium, so we can make another eater tier two with one aluminum. Okay. And then with the other aluminum, we should be able to make the food grower doodad. First, I need another living compartment. I'll move that over to here. Oh, dang it, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Oh, there's food grower, okay. Keep that over here in this corner. Well, it's not really a corner, but oh, there goes our power. I don't know what's better, squash or eggplant. Chance to get seeds back 100%. Growth speed. So there's some details there. So eggplant. Oh, okay. Those are statistics of the thing itself, not the seed. And these plants are what we should have in here. Here. And finally, I will eat the food. Uh, what's up, Space Destructor? Okay, I need some water and we need more power. So the thing that we want is silicon, magnesium, iron, aluminum. Yeah, iron, aluminum. Do we have more aluminum? Shoot. We used it all up. So I will just have to make a tier one power solar doodad. What's up, Drees? Dries? Curse you for getting into Pyanodons. Yeah, that'll happen. It's good stuff, right? It's good stuff. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Or, or at least something akin to enjoyment. some water yeah it is a whole new tier for sure of, of all of the factorio feels the good and the bad it all gets multiplied with pyanodons and by bad I, I don't really mean bad but just like I feel like the things I still have low power wow 
The things that can make it easy to get like burnt out on Factorio or make you want to restart, those are all worse in Pinadons for sure. I don't want to build everything in just completely random places, so I'm going to try to keep stuff in similar areas. Okay, there we go. And now we need to run back and get more stuff from the from the ship. Oh, nice. <laughs> You can always remember who who started you on your your journey of addiction. Yeah, the sky is definitely turning blue and purple. There's also more wreckage over there it seems. Okay, let's explore around the ship real quick. Oh, you know, has our melting happened yet? I haven't even checked into that. I wonder if we've gotten to the point where things are melting. Okay, nothing over here. Ooh. Look at this little trail of breadcrumbs. Hansel and Gretel, anyone? Oh, uh, yeah, Warp Torio is fun. Ooh, look at this. All sorts of. Oh, gosh. Talk about getting lost. I should have put that compass thing in. Okay, aluminum is good. We like aluminum. I do have oxygen. Uranium, super alloy, water bottle, cobalt, all the good stuff. I'm gonna leave that there as like a marker. was a strange glitch. Feel like I've yeah, I've gone in a circle here. Somehow. Is that another aluminum? No, that's mag magnesium. Oxygen level low. Okay, climbing this is no purpose. Yeah, the biters at the very beginning of Warp Torio were pretty intense. Once you get settled, it wasn't quite as bad. But the ones at the beginning are just brutal. Oh gosh, here's more good stuff. I'll just consume the consumables, take the really hard to find stuff, get out of here. Besides, I need more oxygen. So, we found a lot of aluminum. I should go um, back to the wreckage though, because I still need some fabric for the other... Oh, I also want to go into that cave. What's in that cave? Um, okay, so I'm going to build one of these in here. Just to put away a lot of standard stuff. I do need to remember that I don't have... I'll store this for now. I don't have an oxygen bottle on me. I need to keep an eye on that.
Yeah, Pinedons really is insane just how deep it goes. Beans seeds. Okay, I'm gonna leave some of these. I'm just gonna take the good ones. We'll come back eventually if we need to. All right, oxygen's still okay. Go around here, already looked at that, already looked at that. Um, grab that, this is what we left. Okay, sweet. Oh, did I just unlock locker storage? I, I heard something. I heard something ding at me, but I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, back we go. Ooh, drill tier three. Noise. In a way, this is almost like an idle game. You know, you're like, you literally just want numbers to go up. Yeah, locker storage. Sweet. Triple iron. Okay, so that guy is 17 pressure. And only a little bit more energy. stuff here. Take all of the not normal stuff. I also don't really need more seeds right now. Okay, we'll go with that. Oh, well that's not my base. That's just the oxygen room. Hello, Larna. <laughs> I've never heard of there's more game. Am I about to get addicted to that one? Okay, first off, we're gonna need more power. So, get that figured out. And then we'll want one of the lockers. I do need more iron though, too. Um, generally not, Larna. It depend. It depends on how small the spoiler is. If it's, yeah, I think probably not. If I go for a super long time, um, missing something that like I already can do in the game, I don't mind. Um, you telling me like, oh, by the way, this is a thing. But I also do generally try to figure things out myself for a little while. Okay, what are these new messages? Um, that doesn't seem very useful. Okay, well, yes, if it's a trouble saving thing, then please tell me. Oh, wow, so helpful. LOL. Thanks, Riley. I already figured all that part out. Uh, decode, mining speed, tier three, living compartment corner. Ah. Okay, so fabric, super alloy. Where did I put the fabric? It's right there. And then we need two super alloy. Recommend rebuilding base where the oxygen room is. Here is rather low. Ah! Fine. We'll be fine. And if we're not fine, then we're not fine. Um, okay, that will help me move around faster. Still doesn't feel all that fast. 
I also wish sprint, always sprint was on. I don't think there's a control for that. And there is so far been zero times in this game that I have wanted to not be running. So. Yeah. Um, you have no iron in you. I think I just need to go find some iron. There is a tick button for toggle sprint. Where is that? Is it in gameplay? Oh my gosh, there it is. Wow. Yeah, the fact that that's not on by default in the game and also, yeah, I don't know. Or why is why is walking even on? The whole concept of games where you can sprint always, but for some reason your character isn't sprinting by default doesn't make any sense to me. Is it so you can live in your immersion and walk at a normal human speed and just be more bored all the time? Doubt it. That's not good gameplay. Okay. Um, um, honestly, Larna, not really. That's the kind of thing that isn't... Um, like, that is the kind of spoilers that I don't want. Like, I don't want you to talk about why I'm going to have regrets later. Because that, you know... That's kind of the whole point of playing yourself and discovering the game, right? Is like... You know, you do the thing, and then it bites you in the butt later, and you learn, and that's part of the fun of games. And honestly, it's kind of interesting, like, part of the experience of the game often is having those things happen to you. And, like, I think a lot of uh, gamers these days actually enjoy games less when they... Um, they go online, like, before they've played the game, and they're like, Oh, does anyone have tips for me? And some of those tips are ones that might be good for a beginner to know, but a lot of them are going to, like, actually make you end up having less fun because you didn't end up discovering it yourself. You know, and, like, whenever you see um, in the Factorio Reddit, this is one thing that I really like. Like, the first recommendation people make is, like, get off Reddit. Go play the game yourself. You know? Okay, that's much better. Five by seven? is this five by three so it's definitely bigger not as big as i'd like but bigger um my organizational system is not good we'll just say that okay we're at 75 percent on this Oh yeah, Space Destructor, that's even worse. I mean, it's one thing to like look up tips on playing, but people who like playing the game for the first time are using someone else's blueprints. I'm like, whoa, that's not even playing the game. I don't I don't understand that. Like, I, I mean, I guess for some people that's how they want to play. And at the end of the day, look, you know, you have fun the way you want to have fun. But in many ways, I feel like that's quite literally cheating. It's like putting in a cheat code in a, you know, if you're like playing Halo and you put in a cheat code where you can never die and you have infinite ammo, it's fun for a few minutes, but people would say you're not really playing the game, you know, and I think using someone else's blueprints in Factorio, especially earlier on in the gameplay um, world is, is like that. You know, if you've played the game for hundreds of hours and you want to understand someone else's blueprint and how it works, that's totally different. But people who are trying to solve their gameplay problems with a blueprint, that's not probably going to be more fun. But again, it's, it's your life. Play how you want to, you know? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I would just recommend you don't do it. All right, two titanium. We're going to try one of these drill tier threes because they're cool. Here's Papa Drill. I should build them with the other drills. Yeah, I mean, balancer books, you know, it's like, 
I think that's different because it's solving a problem you know you could solve. It's just annoying to. It's kind of like programming. Um, it's similar to like circuit stuff. Like I, I don't think using blueprints for circuit stuff is the same. It doesn't produce the same problem as what I'm talking about. Uh, my background removal is glitching out. Thank you for pointing that out. I don't know why. I think it's because literally the sun um, has moved more. Ugh, I hate this stupid. I need to get. A, I need to do a couple things for my green screen, but yeah, that's kind of annoying. Let me. Okay, I think that fixed it. Thank you for pointing that out. Okay, so we need more power. I need another, I'll grab two aluminums for this. Oh, and then I need a whole bunch of other crap. And I need water, we have some ice. Okay, I'll eat the food, drink the water, put away one water, put away the other uranium, super alloy, have some more seeds that I don't need, I'll grab two aluminum, and then I had a bunch of random things that I need. Um, I don't know if this will be enough, but it'll be a start. Yay! Okay, now I need two more cobalt and we can build another one. Yeah, Dave, one of the one of the mods I did get um, for Subnautica before I had beaten the game was one that made the, uh, what's it called? The prawn? I don't know. No, not the prawn, but just the, the little sea moth, the, the first little vehicle, little submarine thing that you get. Um, minor spoilers, by the way, but you get a little submarine vehicle and I got a mod that made the storage compartments in that like quite a bit bigger and same for the other vehicles as well. And I felt like that helped me enjoy the game a lot more. And then the other mod I got was a base inventory management system where you could access it all from one screen. And again, and you had to spend more resources on building the containers, so it was even like balanced in the gameplay sense, but I I didn't find the inventory management amazing in Subnautica, and the fact that the Planet Crafter hasn't deviated from that is a little sad to me, because I don't think Subnautica was great for inventory, and it looks like it's basically the same here. And it's like, okay, so I just have one of these full of each different resource and I just have to run along a wall of you know storage containers like is that fun I don't know not really uh, definitely not the same devs okay how are we doing by the way terraformation is at 74,000 You played Subnautica with Command Invisible? That's funny. I mean, yeah, exactly, you know, play how you want to. I liked how scary Subnautica was, especially at first. You know, you're in the dark water and something else is out there and you're like, oh my god, what is it? I found that fun. Okay. So more drills will mainly give me more pressure and we should be able to get a nuclear reactor eventually. More... Vegetables gets me more oxygen, which will get me more vegetables, and eventually a tier 3 heater and more heat. Gets me a biodome where I can grow more plants. Oh, you can name them, apparently. Interesting. Can you name these? Because that's like doubly weird if you can name the little ones, but not the big ones.
Okay, I, I can build three more now. Three more whatchamacallits. Iron, iron. I need so much iron. Um, I want more heaters, though. So let's go find some more iron. Oh, you thought every wire could only have one signal on it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that would be... And that's how some games are with their kind of circuit logic, and you can't do as much with those games. Locker is back to front. Nameplate is on front. Oh, I have it backwards. That's funny. That makes more sense. <laughs> I also wasn't going to investigate the ice cave. You're right. I've... This is an easy game to get distracted in. Very much always something to do. I keep hitting the sprint button because I forget that now I don't have to. Okay, there's some more iron. I'll grab an ice. I I'll grab a couple ice because that'll get me more of the plant doodads, the veggie tubes. Okay. So I wanted to build a tier 2 heater. We need aluminum for that. So we'll grab an aluminum. Build another one of these. Definitely running out of space. I'm going to add more space onto this corner. this the right way. There we go. I, I get it now. There's an arrow. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Can I fit two in here? Not quite. That's a bummer. Put one right there. Okay, so this will hold normal stuff. I'm gonna drink from the water bottle. I need some oxygen, actually, so let's find some cobalt. I've really removed a lot of the resources close to my home base. We need some asteroids to hit, hit my home. Oh, Dries, your computer's already dead from UPS. Death in Factorio? That's rough. Didn't you say you're only 40 hours in? I feel like that's weird if you're having UPS issues 40 hours in. Like, with any pack. Maybe you need it turned down. There's like a graph, a couple graphics settings in Pinodons that could help. It could be a graphics thing rather than UPS. Or maybe you just have a really slow laptop or something? It's generally Factorio's hard to... It takes a lot of work to get to the point where UPS is bad. Okay, I've got my two oxygen capsules, so let's go check out the ice up there again. Yeah, changing the Atlas size or the VRAM stuff or a couple of those settings can fix um, some stuttering that I had in Planetons. I'm not even sure if we have enough heat for what we need up here. I don't remember what the number was. Looks like that's no. So 
Starts melting at 100 nano Kelvin. Also, I found out you can pull this up. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought you could click on it. If you have the ingredients for it, you can see what the what the values are without actually building it. Does it need silicon and iron? Okay, here's more general resources for me. A bunch more iron. Yeah. Okay, Um. so yeah, if you go to build this, you can see the actual values, even if you don't build it. So heat is at 37 nano Kelvin. And we need 100 before it starts melting. Okay, cool. Blue skies, though, we're getting there on the blue skies thing. And then I'm going to go explore the cave. And we'll probably call it an episode after that. Okay, what can I build over here? Can I afford any of the good stuff? No, you need aluminum for all the good stuff. I can at least do a smaller solar panel. And mama, mama drill. Make the numbers a little bigger. Grab all the resources that dropped by the base. Throw them in here. My random resources cabinet. And let's see. Yay! I have food. A squash. I think I need one more grower of food. Aluminum, iron, and a water bottle. Okay, I have a water bottle. There's aluminum. And I have an iron. Oh, you can hit the sort button, by the way. I should do that more often. Okay, we'll have another food grower over here. 59% Okay, and in that one we'll put eggplant so we can compare squash and eggplant And then was there some ice Yeah, we'll just go ahead and make a water bottle. We got three oxygens Oh, there's an item stacking mod nice that would make it too easy. I would actually prefer if items only stacked a little bit and they stack differently depending on what item they were. For example, oxygen and water bottles, I don't think they should stack at all. Things like uh, all the raw materials, I think even stacking to three, four, or five would all be very reasonable. Stacking to eight would be plenty or the classic 10. Um, You know, even if things just stack to five, that's already quintupling how much a storage container can hold in terms of resources. All right, cool. We got like a little sand fall up here. Anything, anything special? Is that aluminum? That's something. No, that's just cobalt. Ooh, there's some iridium. That'll get us some more heaters. Um, it's not aluminum. I was hoping for some more aluminum too. Iridium's nice though. Okay, you can configure the stack sizes, but it's global for all items. I mean, that's that's something. I think I would enjoy a more nuanced approach, personally. Oh wow, there's a lot of iridium. Oop, there's aluminum. 
That's what we wanted. Okay, I'm enjoying the cave. Got all sorts of goodies in here. Oxygen is running low. Oop, did I get that? Yeah. That's magnesium. Okay. Grab some oxygen. Still got seven inventory slots. Hey, blue squid. I'm actually really enjoying it. I do think inventory management is a little annoying, but it's not like ruining my gameplay or anything. But I could also see myself getting that stacking mod eventually. <laughs> What do we got up here? Any more aluminum? Wow, there is iridium everywhere in here, so I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that for a while. Okay. Oh, no. One more aluminum. <laughs> um, if you die, I think you drop your some of the stuff on the ground. Also, I haven't gone over there. Now that there's not dust in the way, we can see over there something cool. Maybe there's a lot of aluminum over there. It looks shiny. Oh, the cheese wheels. Oh my gosh. I do feel like games like this are best when they reward um, certain types of um, inventory typing. So like, for example, you could have an ore crate and it's it's like th things don't normally stack in one of these. But if you have an ore crate, now it can hold bigger stacks, you know, or something like that. Um, I think that tends to be good design. Because then it's not just everything is easy to store all over the place, but you can at least have something other than literally a locker or two or three for every single ore. Uh, speaking of a locker for every ore, we need to put our iridium somewhere. Okay, sweet. Do you know you can control thing, control click things? Uh, I didn't know that. Thanks for pointing that out. I will have to try that. And then, didn't we unlock something? Oh, the Vegetube Tier 3. Water bottle, silicon, silicon, magnesium, aluminum. Hey, Larna, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Wait, what was it? I already forgot. I'm also going to deconstruct you. No, I didn't mean to do that one. Uh, aluminum. Holding control while clicking prevents the menu from closing. Oh, interesting. Wait, what? Craft menus. I don't know what you mean by craft menus. Whoa, does this go outside? Ah, outdoor veggie tubes. Cool. Okay, that one needs our golden seed for sure. That thing is a hoss. 78 PPQ, look at that. 
Oh, like in here I can hold control and hit water bottle. I see, I see, I see. Ice, icy. Anyway, um, bad puns. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing on things? We are almost there. 175,000, blue sky. Nineteen point seven five. Can't build tier three heaters yet. I could probably do it with another tier three drill. Two was it two aluminum? Yeah, two titanium. Okay. I can go over here. Probably are gonna am gonna run out of power. No, we had enough. Nice. All right. Let's see, what else? Um, not everything, Dave. Like, these can't be built outside. Or at least I know the Vegetube Tier 1 and 2 can't. I don't know about the food grower. I guess I didn't try with that one. And then we'll do another uranium to build one, another one of those solar power plants. And I think at this point, these are basically useless. Yeah, I'm just gonna deconstruct this so I have the room back. Magnesium and silicon. Bam. More power. Yeah, the problem is aluminum. I don't have enough aluminum to put everything to tier 2 panels, or tier 3 drills, or tier 2 heaters. Alright, I kind of just want to see what happens. When we hit the 175,000, I will end the YouTube episode when we get there. Well, not right when we get there, but once we find out what happens. And let's build some more foundations for the uh, the role play, so that at least it looks somewhat possible to exist in physics. Ah, hold control while placing. Yep, that could be smart. Cobalt in here, yeah. Get another window here and here. There we go. Now we can see outside. It's more bright, beautiful, and we're only twelve thousand away from our goal. While we wait, I'm gonna run over towards the area yonder, see what we find. Okay, nothing crazy over here. Here comes a deuced storm. Grab a couple of everything on the way, I guess.
Okay, so is the challenge to like get over here? No, I don't need another ice. Surely this is aluminum, right? Oh, is this more ice? Is this gonna melt? Yay, aluminum. Um, I don't... Okay, I do have an oxygen tank. That's good. Hey, we just got another blueprint. Advanced craft station. Another chip. Some food that we can eat. Aluminum. Sweet. Okay. Well, I think it's time to run on home. But this was very illuminous. Uh, illuminating? There we go. That's what I should have said. There's another mod, which sounds I might enjoy more. I can craft rods from every metal. Ah. Interesting. So it's kind of just like condensed ores. I do like that. That actually sounds kind of, you know, more reasonably balanced, I guess. Even if there was just a mod that let every ore stack to two, <laughs> like that alone would, I feel like, make me happy. Like I don't need a lot of a boost. I feel like I just need a little bit of a boost from where the inventory is. Um, currently. What is this? Okay. It's kind of like volcanic rock looking, but not anything. There's no more aluminum problems. Hooray. Okay, well, we have made it to blue sky. Let's see what the next phase is, and we'll call it a YouTube episode, and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next is clouds. Wow, we're already 10% of the way to clouds. That's not going to take long then. Oh, unless it means... I managed to sneak more information. I read that you have a greater chance of success if you build your base at an altitude. I'm not sure why for now. If you manage to heat the planet enough, some caves should become accessible when the ice melts. And one last thing, you can blink. Okay, well, there's that hint that we now have received from the game. <laughs> uh, so, we might need to start a base at higher elevation. Advanced craft station. Yeah, I mean, I'm not planning on getting a mod yet, Larna. Don't worry. And we can build a nuclear reactor. Yeah, clouds are going to be here in no time. Holy cow. We're already at 15%. But, yeah, we will call it a YouTube episode for now. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.